Well, hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate exponential functions. Okay, so let me title this integration exponential functions. Okay, so a quick red pen and ruler, underline this. Let me first give you the standard result for exponential functions. So, uh, whenever you integrate e to the power of x with respect to x, the result is e to the x plus c. So this is the standard result for when you integrate e to the x. Okay. Let me give you a result which is based on the standard result. So this is a related standard result. So if you integrate k e to the power ax plus b with respect to x. So in this function k, a and b are all constants and the power is of the form ax plus b. So the power uh, in this case is a linear. Okay. So let me just note that where k, a and b are all constants So, if we integrate this based on the standard result, we're going to have k over a, e to the power, ax plus b, add c. Okay? So, let me show you where this result comes from. So, this result is derived using substitution. So, I'm going to show you how to derive this result using substitution. Okay? So, let me go with the proof. So, let me go through this proof. So let me start from this integral. So we're integrating k e to the power ax plus b. So let me just stress that the result is only true if k, a and b are constants and if the power is of the form ax plus b. So if the power is a linear of the form ax plus b and if k is a constant then you can apply this result. So coming to the proof in step number one we're going to use substitution and for the substitution we're going to take u as ax plus b which is the power okay now in step number two let's calculate du over dx so remember the idea of substitution we need to replace the existing terms x and dx by new terms u and du okay so if you're unfamiliar with the process of substitution I have created a video on substitution and I'll provide a link to the video in the description below okay so coming back to this proof du over dx when I differentiate ax plus b that is a so du is a dx okay so this is where I like to stop and think because we're going to replace ax plus b by u and dx, we need to think about dx currently uh, du is a dx so I need to get rid of this a okay so if I divide both sides by a 1 over a du is going to be dx so now I can replace the dx here by 1 over a du, okay, and I can replace the ax plus b, as I said before, by u. So that takes us to step number three. So by substitution, so let's rewrite this integral. So dx is 1 over a du. So since 1 over a is a constant, I'm going to write that outside my integral, okay du goes inside your integral so dx has been replaced now the k here k is a constant I'm going to take that outside the integral as well to give me k over a overall and I'm left with e to the power ax plus b which is going to be replaced by u okay so when we integrate that we're going to have k over a outside that's a constant 
Integration of e to the u with respect to u based on the standard result is e to the u. So remember, if you integrate e to the x, it's e to the x. So if you integrate e to the u with respect to u, you'll get e to the u. Add c, since we have no limits, okay? So now let's write our answer in terms of x. So remember, u is ax plus b. So if I write it back in terms of x, so that takes us to the last step, step number four, okay? So since u is ax plus b, so if we do the replacement of u, we're gonna have k over a e to the power u, which is ax plus b, add c. So if you replace the u by the substitution, you're gonna get uh, that corresponding result, okay? So that is how the result is derived. It's derived using substitution. Again, if you're unfamiliar with the idea of substitution, there is a link to substitution to that video in the description below, okay? So let's try some examples using this result. So remember, you can only use the result if k, a, and b are constants and if the power is of the form ax plus b. Now, as I said, as I said many a time, don't memorize results. So just learn what the result is trying to say. So only memorize the standard result. So based on the standard result, provided that k, a, and b are constants, and if the power is a linear, so when you integrate, it's gonna be the same thing, k, e to the power ax plus b, based on the standard result but you need to divide by the derivative of ax plus b, okay? So don't memorize the result, learn what the result is trying to say, okay? So on the reverse, example number one, let's try some practice problems. So let's integrate part a. So let's integrate, um, the integral of 7 e to the power 3x minus 1 with respect to x. So let's integrate 7 e to the power 3x minus 1 with respect to x. So first thing to note is that 7, which is our k, is a constant. Our power is of the form ax plus b. So we have the green lights to use our standard related result. So remember the result, it's gonna be seven e to the power three x minus one divided by the derivative of three x minus one. So when you differentiate three x minus one, it's three and then add c, okay? So you're gonna have seven over three e to the power three x minus one add c. So this should be the solution to pi a. Part B, let's integrate 5e to the power 1 plus 2x with respect to x. So once again, 5 is a constant, so our, our k is a constant. The power is of the form ax plus b. So we have the green light to use that standard related result. So it's 5e to the power 1 plus 2x divided by the derivative of 1 plus 2x, that is 2, add c, since we have no limits. So the final answer is 5 over 2e to the 1 plus 2x plus c, okay? So let's try another, part C. So let me show you how to integrate this one. So 5e to the power 3x plus two minus two divided by, okay, e to the power two x with respect to x.
you could rewrite this as 5e to the power 3x plus 2 over e to the 2x minus, okay, as we have a minus in the middle, 2 over e to the 2x. So you can split this fraction into two fractions, okay? And by doing this, we can simplify. So let me simplify the first fraction in particular. So 5 divided by 1 is 5. And remember, in the indices, if you divide two terms of the same base, you subtract powers. So that is the rule, a rule from indices, okay? So e to the power 3x plus 2 divided by e to the 2x is e to the power x plus 2. So when you divide two terms of the same base, remember, you subtract powers. So it's top power minus bottom power. Minus 2 and 1 over e to the 2x is e to the minus 2x with respect to x. Okay. So now we're in a position to integrate these two terms separately using our standard related result. So for the first term, k is 5, k is a constant. The power is of the form ax plus b. So by using the standard related result, it's 5e to the power x plus 2 divided by the derivative of x plus 2 being 1 minus, again, k is a constant. The power is of the form ax plus b. So if we use the standard related result, it's minus 2 e to the minus 2x divided by the derivative of the power minus 2x being minus 2, add c, since we have no limits, okay? So the minus 2s can cancel, okay? So we're going to have, so let me continue over here. So we're going to have 5 over 1, which is 5, e to the x plus 2. Minus 2 divided by minus 2 is plus 1, so it's plus e to the power minus 2x add c. So this should be the final solution to part c. Okay. So if you have a function of this form, uh, divide your fraction into two separate fractions, okay, and then integrate separately. Okay. Also bearing in mind when you simplify the first term in particular over here, when you divide two terms having the same base, you need to subtract powers, okay? So it's top power minus bottom power when you simplify such a term. So that ends that example and that ends the examples for this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated. Do practice related problems and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.